What's going on guys? Today is December 27th. Sorry if I sound monotone. I just woke up. I just got showered and uh, I'm going to start this video by doing a camera bag video. But does anyone's room get destroyed after Christmas because of all the stuff they got? Let me know down in the comments down below, but let's start this video. Now I've been watching a lot of camera bag videos and it's inspired me to do one. And this one's gonna be a little different because I'm not really a photographer. Yes, I love taking photos, but I'm not like an insane photographer. I don't really, that's not my first choice. I like making videos and telling like stories. The way I make videos is a little different from everyone else because I'm not no like Peter McKinnon doing like 120 frames a second. I'm not doing work for people like that route, like the, the cinematic route. I just like making YouTube videos. And I wanted to share what's in my vlogging bag. So let's go outside, have some fun, fly the drone around and stuff like that. So I got these sunglasses and these is like the nicest pair of sunglasses I've ever had. So if you guys keep up with the channel, you know I love sunglasses. It's one of my favorite things to wear. But my problem is, is I lose them. And it's not intentionally, I just misplace them, leave them in a car or leave them where I'm at. I'm really clumsy when it comes to sunglasses. Hopefully I don't lose these ones. Now I'm not no name brand guy, but these are the actually nicest ones I ever had. It's like you're staring through like a HD video <laughs> like 4k the lenses on these are pretty crazy <laughs> so this is my camera bag i've had this for like a half a year now and this thing is so sick it's not your most expensive one it just gets the job done now this brand is from moss i probably butchered that i'll link it down below it's nice and convenient it fits on my back nice it just feels solid but i really want to switch this angle because i'm filming on a rock and i kind of want to sit down so uh let's go switch the angle I thought it was supposed to be sunny out today. I guess the weather changed. It's New England weather. But we got the water bottle holder. This is a key and a plus. If you don't have a water bottle holder on your camera bag, I don't know what you're doing. All right, now moving on to this pouch. I absolutely love this thing because it's always behind you. Worst case scenario, if someone's trying to grab something from you, you'll feel it. I like to keep extra masks in here just in case I need one or if I'm forgetting one. My knife, just in case I need to open something. And my car keys. Now rotating your bag, you got this little zipper thing. I really don't know what this use is for, probably like for change or something, but I don't understand why this is here. It doesn't really make sense to me. Now every time I open this bag, there's a problem. Now everything just crams down onto the bottom of the backpack every time I use it. I know this is a cheap one, it's kind of flimsy, but for me, it gets the job done. Now I know there's a lot of you camera bag people that have the most expensive ones and it keeps all your lenses and stuff really organized. But for me, just vlogging, whoever holds my stuff and it keeps it nice and compact, I guess that works, but I really find this bag very flimsy. So I might get a new one soon. But in here, what I keep is a GoPro Hero 8. And the reason why I use a GoPro Hero 8 is because if I'm doing something like adventurous, like if I'm sledding or doing something on my skateboard, I'll use this with a selfie stick. This selfie stick is pretty cool. You twist it and it's like a selfie stick pole. Pretty sick. Attaches to your GoPro and works really nice. And with the GoPro, I run three batteries, one in the GoPro and two on this little dock charger. Then I'm always on the go and I'll use this cell phone stand for like time lapses and stuff. Or if I just need a second shot of something, I'll just put my phone down and put it right here. Works really cool if you're putting it on a ledge or something. And it has this like 360 feature, pretty cool. I use a DJI Mavic Mini. It's a little outdated, but it gets the job done. I run it at 1080 /60, and I'm gonna make a video about how I feel about 1080p still. If, if it's good to keep using it or it's 4K, the new 1080p. So probably gonna make a video about that. But I use a DJI Mavic Mini and it comes with a little controller and I run three batteries in it. That way, if I need a longer flight time, I can just switch out a battery and then just put it in to the drone. Now, another key thing I recommend if you have a camera bag set up, I really recommend some power and battery. So I run a little battery pack and this thing is awesome. I'll link this down below as well. I made a video about this already. It's a nice little thing to have in case something is dying or you need that extra juice just to charge it real quick while you're grabbing a coffee or something. I had no issues with it and this thing's a little beast. 
Now, another thing I have in my camera bag is SD card holder. I keep all of my SD cards in this little thing. I have the drone, I have my GoPro, and I have this, what I'm shooting on right now. I run four SD cards all, at all times, just in case one goes down, I can just switch it and put a new memory stick in. That's all that's in this compartment right here. Now I'm gonna be moving on to the flap, and this is where I keep all like the little accessories and stuff. So like a day like today, mushy outside and slushy outside so i have this little plastic bag cody warner if you're watching this video i got this from you dude if you're vlogging outside and if you if it's raining out or something you can just cover your camera with this little bag rip it open and finagle it so you could uh put it over your camera it was a really great idea thank you for the little tip cody i'm gonna put it right here so it doesn't fly away now this is just my lens cap i used to use this for my sd cards the peter mckinnon trick but now I just use this to keep all my stuff organized. Now what's left in this little pocket is GoPro mounts. It's always essential to keep more than just two. If you have just one or two, I don't know what you're doing. You need more because per me personally, I'll always be losing these. And then this little accessory, it attaches to on a quarter 20 for your GoPro. So if you're like doing time lapses as well, twist it up and boom. Now your GoPro has a little tripod and you can probably vlog with it too. Like that, or like that. Then in this pocket, this big one right here, I keep all my chargers. This is for my GoPro, which I charge it like here. Put it into an outlet on a cube. Let my GoPro batteries charge. Then USB-C for this camera and another USB-C for my drone and GoPro. So. All works really nice and it fits all in this camera bag now I missed a huge part of this video and you may ask yourself what am I shooting on and I'm shooting on a Sony a7 II or mark II, whatever you want to call it and there's a reason why I use this camera I love the old YouTube nostalgic feeling it's like that era from like 2014 to like 2017 those times were like the best where 1080p was prime Nowadays, everything's like shot in 4K, 120p, slow-mo, 8K if you have a red camera. I don't do client work at all. I just make these videos and share them out to the world. And I love the nostalgic feeling. So if I can give you guys that, that's my style. And I absolutely love that style. Now, no way is right or wrong. I enjoy watching 4K slow-mo, but to me, it kind of gets repetitive and old. I want to kind of like go back to like that raw feeling where it kind of feels homemade now you guys may agree with me here or may not i'm i'm not one to judge whatever you use i'm not i don't care but that's just my style the 1080p rawness now still some of the biggest youtubers today still use 1080p roman atwood i know uses 1080p david dobrik mike malak they all use 1080p and my theory on this is because they want to keep it that old school youtube feeling and i agree with that so yeah, that's my thoughts about the 1080p and why I still use this camera. But I did notice something though for you guys. I used the 28 to 70. That's the kit lens you guys get with this camera. And I noticed for vlogging, it feels cropped in. That's just my OCD. So I've been watching videos about wide angle lenses. So tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to Best Buy. Remember you guys along with me. And I'm gonna get a new lens uh, for this camera. I'm gonna leave it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this camera bag setup. I know it's not in the greatest conditions it's all slushy and cold and I thought, I thought today was going to be sunny out but that's new england weather for you but this is ricky i'll keep you guys on tomorrow's vlog peace